everybody. Dr. Vong here. Long day. Thank you for joining in. Hi, Larry Hampton. Hi, Hummingbird. We're going to do some cooking tonight just because I miss y'all. How are y'all doing? Can you hear me okay? Hi, Stacy. All right. Uh, I forgot I have problems with my um, microphone. So, this is cooking uh, with Dr. V. Keep tapping your screen for hearts. Give me a bunch of hearts. We're shooting for 2 million hearts by Valentine's. We're going to do that. Hi, uh, Janelle V. Hill. I'm going to do a cooking show. Instead of Real Talk with Dr. V, this is Cooking with Dr. V. Hi, everybody. Hi, Smile in the Sun. Thanks for coming in. We're going to wait for a few more people to come in. This is going to be a real quick cooking episode. So if you don't know what prawns are, we're about to find that out. Plus, I'm going to do a couple other things. I am tied because of my microphone. My front part of my, uh, fu- uh, my phone won't record properly, so I have to use this microphone. Hi, hi Kylie. Hi, Lion Star. Um, hello, everyone. We'll wait for a few more people to come. Um, this is going to be prawns. Anyone know what prawns are? Hope you guys are doing okay. I've had a long day with my patients. I did the uh, new patient seminar, Hi Fate Fate, and then I did a talk on happiness. If you were in the uh, talk for happiness, tell me what you think. Tell me what lessons you learned, and we'll keep going. Hi, uh, Edna Kova, how are you doing? Hello. Hi, Joanne. Thank you. Nice color. Appreciate it. Hot pink. Real man wears pink. You guys listening? Real man wears pink. That's right. Large shrimp. We're going to show you the star of the show here. Check this out. Oh, baby. Ready for the big reveal? One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Bam! Look at those bad boys. Got these at Talent Market. Hi, Bernadette. Thank you very much. Glad you came with your husband, Bobby. You had a fever. Sorry about that. Um, these are the biggest prawns I've ever had, but they're pretty good. So about the size of my nose. Um, these are at Talent Market. Here's a good example. Here's my hand. There's the top. So it's the whole thing's about the size of my hand, if you see that. All right. Hi from Orlando. How are you guys doing? Good job. Everyone's here. Our prawns different from shrimp. They're just real big. Um, I got these at Talon Market. And we're going to check out the price. Look at that. That's not bad for a uh, big old shrimp that size. I got eight for about seven bucks, so a little bit less than a dollar. If you're going to be a sleeve patient, you'll need about two of these. That's it. So two bucks. Um, if your husband... You know, for me, I was I actually ordered six, and the girl behind the counter kept going, is that all you want, six? I said seven, and she goes, is that all you want, seven? I said, fine, I'll take eight. She goes, okay, is that all you want, eight? <laughs> so I said, no, I'm taking eight, that's all. I can't eat more than eight, all right? So I'll probably eat six. Thank you guys for the hearts. Keep tapping your screen. We'll start cooking. Well, hi, Brown Bunny. How's everyone doing? So one more time, we're going to do Big Ass Shrimp. Uh, this is the simplest way to ever do it. If you want to do this, you got to keep your door open, all right, because we're going to smoke up. This is the pr- cost of the prawns in Albuquerque. For those of you watching across the world, Albuquerque is landlocked, so this is uh, pretty expensive. Uh, but if you live near the coast, you can get big prawns in Houston uh, for about $4, $4.99 a pound, maybe, $5.99 a pound. Thank you, Roxy, for the compliment. I'm also making this with rice. Uh, because I'm Asian, but you can do this on top of a salad. You can do this with couscous. You can do this, um, uh, oh my gosh, a shrimp taco would be fantastic this way. Okay, so one more time, we're going to get started here. Waiting for a few more people. Here are the prawns, nice big prawns, about the size of my hand. And I like it with a head on. To do this dish, you really want the shells on the prawns, okay? Don't get peeled shrimp. This will not work with peeled shrimp. And as you notice, the prawns are not butterflied. I've only washed them. That's all I've done so far is just wash them, okay? Shrimp tacos would be fantastic with this. Hey, you guys, some of you guys are going, Dr. Vaughn, let's grow us off the heads. I want to tell you, the best part, one of the best part of living is sucking on prawn head. It's Saturday night. I'm going to, I'm going to be talking about sucking on some head, all right? So y'all, y'all don't get dirty on me. Don't. <laughs> Put the beds to put the kids to bed. We're gonna be talking about you know sucking on some head here tonight. All right. Hey, while we're waiting for a few more people, I have a little bonus thing for you. Hold on just a second. Uh, for dessert, I have a special fruit. We're gonna see if you guys know what it is. I had to grab it. Hold on just a second. All right. It's these little pricky little things right here. These are also at Talon Market. I got them because they're slightly out of season. They're really out of season, so I was surprised to get them. 
Um, I, don't, I don't expect them to be as good as possible, but uh, you know, they're nice, they're interesting, they, they had a good color. So do you know what that is? Not a prickly pear, nice guess, keep trying. We'll keep talking about these and I'll show them at the end, but let's start cooking. You guys ready? All right, yes, it starts with an R. Thank you for the pretty eyes, that's nice of you. All right, you want a little flat surface pan like this. Any pan will do. You know, if you have a cast iron pan, it would be great. But we're going to put this on high. We want this screaming hot. All right, we're going to get this, pon this uh, pan right here screaming, screaming hot. I'll turn this down here so y'all can see. Um, <laughs> I'm going to squat down so I can. It's hard to cook by yourself, man. I'm telling you, I need a camera assistant. How y'all doing tonight? All right. Uh, keep this show professional, otherwise we'll block you, just like we just did right there. And um, I am a bariatric surgeon, okay? So most of my patients are here, are here to learn new stuff. Again, the start of the show is going to be these prawns, all right? While this pan is getting hot, what we're going to do is, all you're going to do is salt and pepper the prawns. That's it, all right? So I got some kosher salt here. I'm just going to, oops, I'm almost out of salt, man. I realized I was out of salt. So it's not going to be as nice. Salt. Y'all don't need me see me adding salt and pepper. I mean, it's not that hard, right? Just salt and pepper, prawn. Very simple. Both sides. Always do both sides. Don't be scared of salt. One of the things that patients are so worried about is their salt content. And I'm going to tell you, remember what I told y'all, the number one source of um, salt in the American diet is what? You guys remember? Where does salt come from in the American diet? That's right, bread. All right, it's bread. So it's not processed foods, it's not chips, um, it's bread. It's not popcorn. My salt is out. I am officially out of salt. So this is kosher salt, nice, big fat. And, ooh, ooh, I almost knocked over my, my phone. And then pepper this right there. All right, nice. Now, this is going to cook so fast, so you back, you got to pay attention, all right? Um, I want to do everything fast. Now, how do you, oh, hold on, Woo! hold on just a second. I need an assistant. Can I get a volunteer? Zerlinda, thank you for inviting followers. Look, how do you know if your um, pan is super hot? You're going to get your fingers wet, and you're going to throw this on the pan. Listen, did y'all hear that sizzle? That's just water on my fingers, and I'm, I'm flecking it like that, and it sizzles, okay? That's how you know this is raging hot. So I gotta turn on the fan on high. This is gonna smoke real hot. Here are the stars of the show. You can see the smoke coming up. Just f head on, shell on, not butterfly, not clean, nothing. You want it solid for this dish. And we're just gonna put it on a dry pan, a dry top. That's all you're gonna do. And these things are going to cook super fast. They're going to smoke the crap out of your house. So you want the door doors open. It's going to be about three minutes per side. I'm going to put this on the timer. Now, has anyone ever cooked shrimp like this? Think about that. Head on shrimp, no oil, no, I mean, just salt and pepper. It's going to be so nice. You get the real sweetness of the um, shrimp, of the prawns. See, you don't have to fuss with your food to make it taste delicious. It is just going to be super hot. You can already see it sort of starting to smoke. Let me take this off here. All right, there you go. See it smoking? I got to open my door, man. It's going to stink here in just a second. And you can already see it starting to orange here. If you're joining in late, this is basically just giant prawns, which are big, big shrimp. All it is on there is salt and pepper, and the pan is dry. Super hot. Woo, I might not make it here. All right. And I'm going to serve this with rice, but you can do this on tacos. You can do it on a little salad. You can see it's already uh, or getting orange. I might not even make it a minute, three minutes. Oh, baby, that looks good hot dang I'm telling y'all it's good stuff okay can't look at eyes I promise you it'd be alright prawns um, they have a very rudimentary brain system I'm mostly pescatarian I, I have issues with really eating meat I'm trying to get, really get away from it 
uh, seafood, um, you know, their ner central nervous system is very rudimentary. So for me, I deal with it all right. But you see the smoke? This is just such a dry pan, it's going to really smoke. But I'm going to tell you, this is going to really concentrate the flavors down. It's going to be super sweet. And yes, you eat the heads. You're going to peel, peel it off, and you'll suck the heads. It'll be fantastic. I'm serving this with rice. Do this with shrimp tacos. Do this um, just on a bed of lettuce. It'll be fantastic, all right? You see that nice orange flavor? I have about a minute left, but I'm already browning. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and turn. I think these are already ready. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Bam. Bam. Look at that color. You see that char on there? You want that char, man. If you have a grill, you can do this outside on the grill if you can get it hot enough. Okay. So what we're going to do is another three minutes on this side. All right. And while that's going, I'm going to open my back door. So excuse me. Those things are going. I'm going to be right back. I'm smoking pretty hard out here. I'm going to let y'all watch that. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I meant to do that before the broadcast. I totally forgot. I just uh, opened my front door and my back door. Can y'all hear me okay? All right. Um, it just smells like smoke right now. There's no particular smell to this because all of this is salt and pepper, remember? But another minute or so, I got to make sure this isn't burning too bad. And you can see the juices are starting to come out. Let me show y'all that here in a second. Woo, baby, that smoke is coming. We are almost done cooking, believe it or not. I mean, this is it, you know? It's awesome. This is a nice, quick, easy dish. You gotta love it, all right? Let me uh, flip this bad boy. See that? They're starting to release their juices right there. Just a little bit. It is super, super dry. You wanna brown this. And I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna be the most succulent, sweet shrimp you've ever had. It is just, oh, there you go. He just exploded, did you see that? See that juice coming out right there? Right there where my tongues are? That juice coming out? Woo, baby. This is on a high, high pan. It's up there at high there. And it's smoking, it's going. I never ate the shrimp heads before. Well, you just suck on them, you crunch on them a little bit, but you don't actually swallow the shells. And you won't eat the shells either. You peel this meat off here in just a second. I got another minute to go. And these are done. See, shrimp doesn't take long. People always overcook their shrimp. It should be like slightly translucent. It should be slightly translucent when you're um, cooking them, the meat. Turn this back over. Look at that. Oh, see that color? See that juice color right there? I didn't add anything. There's no sauce to this. This is just basically just dry. But man, it is just cooking in its own juices. You know, and it's just going to be so packed with flavor and just, just super, super dense. So... Basically, we're doing about three minutes per side just to get the caramelization. I think I'm done. I don't. You can see that that color is already coming off there like that. Boom. I'm going to take these off. I think they're done. And besides, I'm smoking, baby. Because they're going to continue cooking a little bit longer. And that's just a dry pan. No oil, nothing. Take it off that burning hot, scorching hot thing there. There's my timer. I'm going to let this cool for a little bit. Woo! Baby. Now, let's go back to our dessert. Anyone remember what this is? Anyone guess? All right. Let me flip it back for you. Sorry about that. Flip it back there. All right. Anyone guess? Yes, rambutan. So, while we're waiting for this pan, and oh my gosh, the heat off this pan top is so hot, man, I tell you. You got to be careful. Um, I'm gonna show you what a rabbiton is, all right? It's right here. I grab, oi, 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 oi. So a rabbiton is my fifth, I would probably say my fifth favorite fruit. If you've never had it, you gotta try it. These were gotten uh, at Talon Market. It's pretty expensive right now because they're out of season, but for this box, they were $4 and what does that say, 80, 82 cents. 
So five bucks for about 15 rambutan. All right, so not super cheap. They're out of season, but they are quite delicious. They have this kind of furry, fuzzy outside. Y'all see that? And it's red. If you see rambutan in the grocery store that's black, it's old. You don't want you don't want to buy that or a deep dark brown. You want rambutan to be super red. Anything black or dark brown, um, it's old and rot and uh, overripe and spoiled. It won't taste good. So you just take a knife and you cover around the skin. Did you see how I did that? And you pop it out and you have this nice white flesh right there. Okay? Mmm. Even though they're out of season, these are fantastically sweet. And there's going to be a big O seed in the inside. All right? Talon Mark is the local Albuquerque, Asian uh, international market in Albuquerque. Oh my gosh, that was so super sweet, man. One more time. Ready? One more time. Mango seed is one of my favorites too. I'm just going to take a knife. I'm not going all the way through because it's a pretty thick, um, you see how thick this covering is? I'm just cutting through the covering. I'm not cutting the fruit. And that's it. And you eat that. It's fantastic. All right. Talon market. That's it. All right. Now, let's do the starter show. You guys ready to see the shrimp? Yeah? All right. So here's the big ass prawn. Um, beautiful orange color. Natural juice is coming out. Totally hot. Licking my fingers. Breaking the head off. There we go. See the smoke? Oh my gosh, it's still too hot. Woo! Super hot. So, here's what I do with the heads. I just crunch on them. And you want to suck the juices out of the head. Alright? Mmm. Suck the juices out of the head. Crunch it down on them. Don't actually eat it, okay? Now, you have this beautiful prawn, and I'm just going to peel it. You peel the whole thing. Oh, it's hot! Ow! It's still, it's still super hot, y'all. You want to hang with me? Alright, let me take some questions. Alright. All right, I will block USMC, McDavid, or whatever. I'll do that later. Appreciate it. I don't know what he's saying. But look, I'm peeling this. All right. This is coming off. We'll give him one more chance. Maybe he doesn't know who I am. All right. So maybe he's really a nice guy. You know, I gave that talk today on happiness and being happy. And um, for my patients who came... And um, I'm in a good mood, man. I'm, I'm vibrating high, okay? Did I grow up eating this kind of food? I grew up eating prawns and shrimps, absolutely. I learned how to make this dish from watching a cooking show uh, on TV. So I'm just peeling off the shells here, all right? All right. And look, God. Oh, man, my fingers. Remember that orange juice that was on there? On the shrimp, on the prawns? Oh, my God. I promise you, there's there's plenty of these prawns left at Talon Market. If you go tomorrow, you do what I just showed you, a hot, dry pan, just sear it, salt and pepper, peel it. You don't 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 you don't need any cocktail sauce, you don't need anything. Peel this, it is so sweet. It is just remarkably sweet. Mmm. Has a great Texture, it's firm, you know it's fresh. Super sweet. Um, if you love shrimp, this is like shrimp to the max. And if you're gonna do it this way, you're one of my patients, you better suck that head. Just one time. Just one time so you say you did it. I wanna tell you, it is fan. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Fantastic. You know, someone mentioned not eating things with eyes, and I appreciate that. I'm trying to be a very good pescatarian, try to avoid meat, you know. But if you're going to eat something, 
Use all the parts of it. It's a more of a travesty if you get shrimp and tear the head off and miss the succulent juices that are in here, the flavor and everything. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Well, that was my uh, quick little cooking demonstration. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you'll try it. There's a bunch of Talon Market um, still left. Giant prawns the size of my hand. You know, it's about a dollar, less than a dollar a prawn, maybe 80 cents a prawn. Totally worth it. If you have a sleeve, you're going to eat maybe two or three. That's it. Try it. It took me six minutes to make. You could definitely do it as a snack. Do it for your Super Bowl party tomorrow night. I'm going to tell you, this thing will, these shrimp will be gone in no time. Fantastic food, super healthy, unadulterated, tasted like the ocean. Love y'all very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Share the broadcast. All right. I'm going to, I've just had such a long day with all my patients. I love them very much. Our dinner club was fantastic. I revealed my new cook, my new TV show um, with our celebrity guest, uh, Larry Aarons, who's, who's promoting the, uh, who's producing the show. And, um, fantastic uh, uh, talk I gave on happiness, how to be happier. And um, I love you guys very much. And I hope you'll try this. You can't keep eating the same stuff. You have to understand where your food comes from. Um, Taco Bell's not real meat. Hate to tell you all that. You know, and it's, a, it's really problematic. We can't sit there and say, why am I so sick and keep eating crap? Not knowing where your, your food comes from, what's the quality, etc. Yolanda, thank you very much. Yolanda, all right, I hope you're coming. Uh, I know you guys are talking. So, sorry, Sherry, back to OptiFast. You're going to do fantastic. We'll take good care of you, sweetie. You're welcome, Kylie. Hope you try it. Um, I mean, this was not a, 80 cents for a big ass prawn, it's really cheap. Yes, you see, he says it means you get the poops. You are uh, peri positive. All right, thanks. Welcome, everybody. Um, it's hard to do a cooking show by yourself. I almost dropped my cell phone a couple of times. Almost burnt myself a, a couple of times. Lou, Stu, all right. Um, yeah, the market has pretty good stuff, okay? All right, good night, guys. See you next time. I'm taking tomorrow off. I'm exhausted. I got to get caught up with a bunch of stuff. Appreciate y'all for the hearts. Please share the broadcast. I'll have this uploaded to YouTube eventually. And um, it's, it's a simple recipe. It's so easy. Uh, it's just fantastic. And the flavor is explosive. I promise you. Um, if, if, you if you can look at me straight in the eye and say that it's not the best shrimp you've ever had, I mean, I will buy you your next batch of prawns. I promise you. It is fantastic, sweet, easy, succulent. You got to try it. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye now. Good night.